think some of the hotter issues at renal, for renal cell cancer at, at ASCO GU this year are um, actually, dare I say it, after ESMO with all these adjuvant data, uh, with three uh, adjuvant stroke knee adjuvant trials being presented there, um, we haven't seen that much adjuvant data in this space. What we've seen is updated data for Cabo Nevo, um, which shows a consistent overall survival benefit, as you'd imagine. We've seen updated uh, biomarker data or new biomarker data for Cabo Nevo, um, which is the first PD1 based biomarker data we've not, that we've seen. And we've shown that there are distinctions between PDL1 and PD1s in terms of their biomarkers. I think that might be relevant too. It's, again, it's exploratory data, it needs to be validated. But we're beginning to make some progress in that biomarker space, and I'm excited about that. Um, firstly, um, I think that um, this data from a renal cancer perspective, what am I looking forward to in the future? Actually, there are two or three studies out there. One of them is CONTACT-03, which is um, CABO with a tezolizumab versus CABO alone in the future. And we haven't seen that yet, but that I think, I hope will come out fairly soon. And the same, there's a, a randomized phase three Belzutifan study, Belzutifan versus Eberolimus a randomized phase three and again we're looking forward to the results of that study too so i think that we're kind of between that really busy esmo uh and the what i hope is i don't i, I don't know when they're going to be presented but i hope at some point this year we'll see those two big randomized phase three studies uh reading out so uh i'm excited about that